deep Let me tell you, girl, what you ought to do Pick yourself up out of that slump Don't you waste no time You need to duck that chump Yeah, hey, duck that chump Yeah, duck that chump I'll duck that chump Come on, go with me. Now look, 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 look. Whenever he gets red, he goes out dark. Don't come home with just to change his clothes. Sitting at home by yourself, huh? Is our witness, but it's a somebody else. I know you thought of yourself, huh? More than once. What you need to do, you need to dump that chump. Hey, dump that chump. That loser, huh? Come on, go with me. I feel like as a harmonica player, I've really closing in on distilling my sound and my style, and it's uh, totally rooted in the tradition, which is what I love. The, the actual, you know, the blues, the greats, you know, Little Walter, Sonny Boy, James Cotton, people like that. And, you know, I'm able to take this music and 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 tell my own story with it. Yeah, I was a fan of the band for for a long time when they were Little Charlie and the Nightcats. I first saw them in uh, Oslo in 1998 or 99. I was about 18 years old. Well, Norway has a fairly big blues scene, and my stepdad was uh, deep into the blues scene in Oslo, and uh, he played drums, so that's, that's how I started being a blues drummer, I guess. I joined this band as a bass player, and the guys in the band have been so cool to give me the room to expand into playing Hammond organ, piano, there's Wurlitzer on this new album, so that's something new I can bring to the band. The, the band is a great mix of everyone being on the same page musically, as well as everyone having a lot of freedom to take it whatever direction they want to add, never changing the whole package, but adding a nice, you know, a new touch to it. The thing about this band that's different than a lot of bands I've been involved in over, over my career is that this band is really a team. It's really like a, a cohesive unit. The friendship and the way we care about each other, it's just, it's, I know it sounds corny, but it really comes through on the bandstand. So when it comes together, there's a, you know, there's a musical synergy and there's also a, a personal synergy that just sort of takes it to to the next level, there's no substitute for that. You can't fake that, you know? My favorite thing about playing in this band is that, uh, well, we put on a show. Besides just playing music, it's, it's, it's entertainment. You know, I love the music, I love Rick's songs, and I love our identity as a band. It just works real good as a show. The kid, I, I've known him since I was 14 years old, and. Uh, he asked me if I wanted to join the band, uh, and uh, of course I want to join the band. It's uh, it's a great band. I knew knew of the band for a long, long time. So, yeah. Hell, every band I've been in since I came to America, I, I've been pretty much trying to get the drummer to play like Alex. You know, the thing about this record that's that's so cool is um, it's our first record with Alex on drums, and he's got a. He's got a totally different drum sound than really anybody that we've ever had. They're great people to, to be around, and music-wise, it's, it's just in my alley. I, it fits me well as a player. The one thing I got on this record is I, I, I did a little uh, social commentary kind of song, which I, which I normally stay away from, but uh, this song, uh, The Blues Ain't Going Nowhere. I think it's pretty much nails the, 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 way, the way things are in the world today, man. Like, I, anyway, I feel great about this record. Get out, it's hard to get broke and folks are still crying. I know the road now, 